Oh, I don't. Hey, here's somebody that we can talk to. Would you like to talk to us on camera? Sure. Why not? And your name is Mr. Jones? Is it? It's Mr. Jones hanging with Mrs. Robinson. All right. This is actually somebody that we all know and love. This is Adam Campbell. I don't love too much, but hey. <laughs> this is someone we all know and tolerate. <laughs> That's probably right. Okay. Adam, let's see. How do I come to know you? What is it that we're involved in together? Hmm, let me think here. Um, well, there's that movie. That oh, the that movie. That I think even the person that's handling the camera has been some part of in some form or fashion. And still is. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is Adam Campbell, who is the star of the movie Batman, Date with Destiny. And if you want to infer by that that he is the Batman, do you prefer Batman or the Batman? I like the Batman. The Batman. Like the has a nice little title to it. Because not a bunch of Batman. You know, that just doesn't, that doesn't work. Bat, the Batman. He plays the Batman and plays Bruce Wayne as well. Uh, that's the way it works. Those two go together. And we've been working on this project for... I've lost count. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's it's been a pretty long while now. Well, <laughs> since I've been involved in it, and we've been working uh, for a little more than a year. Yeah. Uh, and Adam and uh, Magnum, who we hope to interview a little bit later, Magnum have been involved in it for about three years. Mm -hmm. Now, that may sound like a long time, but when you are looking at uh, the kind of independent type of uh, fan filmmaking that we're talking about, you have to kind of work around schedules, you have to work when people are available and that kind of thing. And sometimes it just takes a good long time. Uh, no, but I think, I think uh, we're doing some work that, uh, that we will be proud of. We're looking forward to the finished product. We've interviewed some of the people that are involved in it. Oh, very so, nice, very nice. So, uh, uh, tell us about the film as far as your perspective. Ooh, from my perspective, well, uh, would you like to know my feelings about the film, or the uh, the synopsis of the film? Uh, so, well, uh, let's start with how do you feel about the character of the Batman? Ooh, the character of the Batman. Now, see, that's where we get into some very interesting things because Batman was always my childhood hero, so uh, it's it took a lot to get me to want to be him and at the same time it didn't take me much <laughs> to want to be him because I didn't want to make a mockery of the character. You know, I don't want to have the bang pal zoom of Adam West in this day and age. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I didn't want to be running around overweight and tight. So, <laughs> uh, so I had to do a lot of nice hefty workouts and try to bulk myself up as much as possible. But and, and all in all, it's, it's, it's been well worth it. Um, I want to ask you to do one thing for me. Do the voice. The no, Batman voice. voice. Picture him in a cow. What do you want? You have a problem with this? If you have a problem with this voice, I'm sorry. It's a little mix of The Undertaker, along with uh, some deep throatness of, you know, Clint Eastwood. It's how it came across his voice. So, uh... I hope you don't have an issue with it. Now do Bruce Wayne. Oh, that's very simple. Just go right back and run away. I'll just do it. All right. <laughs> All right, now talk about the film. Well, first, first, a brief synopsis of the story. Oh, um, oh let's see. Uh, Date with Destiny is kind of, uh, I guess, its way of taking Batman uh, in kind of a different direction than most films have kind of made him into. Uh, at least fan films wise. We wanted to actually instead of starting from a beginning history of Batman and trying to retell what's been retold so many times, we just want to take the continually right out of the comics and just kind of say, okay, here's this little part in the comics, but it's almost at a point where uh, some of the characters have aged and some of them have moved on, I guess. Uh, and we've got uh, certain characters that are being blamed for certain things and they're completely innocent and, and uh, Batman being the detective that he is is pretty much there to pretty much solve the case and make sure what's kind of going down and all the while uh, a nice little twist of fate at the end a uh, little blast from Batman's past kind of comes back. <laughs> In other words what he's saying is this is not just another Batman case. This is a case that has very personal meaning for Batman and Bruce Wayne as well. Oh, very much so. Looking forward to completing that film. 
we still have a little bit more footage at this point uh, to do, but uh, we're in the home stretch. I think we're we're going to end it. And if we would, if we had the ability to turn the camera around and face it at the person who's holding the camera, you'd be looking at the person who is going to be helping us with the editing, putting that together. Of course, I believe you're going to be involved in that as well. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully, here in the year 2008, you will be seeing Batman Day with Destiny. There is another Batman movie that is coming out this year as well. It's called The Dark Knight. Uh, I think all of us uh, have, have heard the sad news about the passing of Heath Ledger, who is going to be playing the Joker in that film. Uh, we hope you will see it as well, and we are all looking forward to it. I believe. Uh, most of us are big fans of Batman Begins. To which this film is a sequel. Uh, but I hope you'll find a little time to see Batman Date with Destiny as well. And maybe, uh, maybe you'll appreciate what we've done with the character. Adam, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, we'll wait till.